hey everyone welcome back to my channel so this video is very highly requested i'm going to show you guys a very easy way to solve hepatitis b serology questions so let's get started the first thing i want you to know guys is that the hepatitis b vaccine has the hepatitis b surface antigen so this is the the virus component in the vaccine therefore you should expect the antibody response to be in the form of hepatitis b surface antibody i'm going to use this piece of information later so the only way we as uninfected people are exposed to hepatitis b is through this surface antigen in the vaccine so the only thing we're going to have in our blood is the surface antibody i just want to want you to keep this in mind and uh, we're going to continue later Alright guys, so here is a hepatitis B infected uh, liver cell and it's releasing virions. Now this is the hepatitis B virus. The envelope antigen on the out outermost layer is the hepatitis B surface antigen. If you have this in your blood, it means you are infected. So hepatitis B surface antigen equals infection whether acute or chronic it means you currently have the virus in your blood all right and hepatitis b surface antibody is the immune response to this now no antigen antibody can exist together at the same time it's either this or that the fact you have the antibody it means you cleared the antigen or you have immunity all right Having the surface antibody means you have immunity because the antibody gets rid of the antigen. So this immunity may either be acquired because of the vaccine or because you had previous infection. So having hepatitis B surface antibody says that you have been exposed to this surface antigen, whether in the vaccine or in an infection, and you formed an immune response to it. So surface antibody equals immunity. Surface antigen means infection. Now what if someone has surface antibody with no surface antigen? How would I know if this person has the antibody because they were vaccinated or because they had previous infection that they have cleared? The marker or the fingerprint is the hepatitis B core antibody here is the hepatitis b core antigen guys that surrounds the dna this core antigen will be found in someone who has been infected and he will form antibodies against it during his infection and leave behind hepatitis b core antibody and this will remain for life in someone who has uh, had an hepatitis B infection before and therefore core antibody equals exposure so there's three key words here guys surface antigen means you're currently infected whether acute or chronic surface antibody means you developed immunity whether by vaccine or infection core antibody means you've been exposed to the virus and that's what differentiates a vaccinated person from someone who cleared the infection now the final thing is the E antigen, which indicates viral replication. Now we're going to start seeing each uh, curve one by one, and it should be easier. All right, guys, so immunization. The only thing found in someone who has been immunized but has not been infected before is the surface antibody. It indicates immunity because you've been exposed to the surface antigen in the vaccine as a subunit and you developed surface antibodies so the only antibody found in the serum of this person is the surface antibody nothing else the person is not infected so there is no surface antigen the person has never been exposed to the virus so there is no core antibody next now what if someone currently has acute infection i told you guys before the marker of infection that you're currently infected is the hepatitis b surface antigen so it's going to be positive if someone has so let's say you've been infected at this point the surface antigen starts rising and reaching the peak 
Now, have you um, been exposed to the core antigen? Yes, because it's part of the virus. And therefore, you're going to form core antibody against the core antigen. And that means exposure. It means you've been exposed to the virus. Because surface antigen alone, we know it's found in the vaccine as well. Now, what about surface antibody? Currently, when you're having a current acute infection, as long as surface antigen is still there, it means you haven't cleared it yet, which means this antibody is negative. Surface antigen, surface antibody do not exist together. So this person doesn't yet have surface antibody because he's currently infected. Only when he clears the infection would you find surface antibody appearing later. Now let's see what if this person cleared the infection because there is no infection anymore. Surface antigen should be negative. Now this person has developed immunity and therefore the surface antibody has eaten up all remnants of the surface antigen therefore this person has hepatitis b surface antibody because he cleared the infection he no longer has the surface antigen therefore surface antigen is down they're non-detectable what about core antibody that's uh, until now guys i don't know if this person uh, is vaccinated or has cleared infection the fingerprint that tells me this person had been has been exposed to the actual virus before is the core antibody it indicates you were exposed to the core antigen and the core antigen is not seen in the vaccine so you must have had the actual virus so this person will have the core antibody as well now this is the curve guys for someone who has been infected and cleared the infection. So as you can see here at first, he had the surface antigen and the core antibody, but has still not cleared the infection yet. So he doesn't have the hepatitis B surface antibody yet. He started, you know, um, developing the surface antibodies later after about six months. Now there is a period in which the surface antibodies have not come out yet to a detectable level and the surface antigen has been cleared. At this time, we cannot detect the surface antigen nor the surface antibodies. But the only antibody we can detect in this period is the core antibody. And that's its importance, guys. It indicates you've been exposed before and it also is useful in the window period since it's the only marker in the window period. So in the window period, the person has cleared the infection. He doesn't have the surface antigen anymore, but the surface antibody is not detectable yet. And so the only detectable um, antibody here will be the core antibody in this period, window period. That's what it looks like. Surface antigen is cleared, surface antibody not out yet. The only thing detectable is the blue core antibody. Finally, guys, if someone has chronic infection, I told you guys, if it's infection, then he must have the surface antigen. It means he's currently infected, whether acute or chronic. Now, did he develop immunity yet? No, so the surface antibody is negative. Is he exposed? Yes, so he must have core antibody. But the difference between chronic and acute infection is that the chronic infection leads to persistence of the hepatitis B surface antigen for more than six months, while in acute infections for less than six months. I hope this video helped, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. All the best, guys.